Hi, I'm the guy that likes to review things and stuff. And today, I have the Z Fold 3. Now coming out of the gate on this, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys that are rocking a Z Fold 2, do not upgrade. It's not worth the upgrade. Um, the other thing I'm going to tell you is I was really allure, you know, really sucked into the, the green color because um, on the website when I pre-ordered from Amazon's website they made it look like the green was a lot more brighter than it is. It's not. What you're looking at right now is the green edition and unless you were under like in sunlight you don't even see the green. I mean this thing looks like it was black. Um, I really wish I would have got the silver version. Um, Everything is pretty much the same as the Z Fold 2, other than um, their side-by-side -side deal is a little bit better. Um, the functionality for side-by-side, -side, so I can actually grab this guy, bring him out here. I can bring him up to the top, down to the bottom, over to the side. But what I like to do is I like to browse Amazon, and then I like to, to look at comparable items also on eBay at the same time. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but apparently, supposedly, you can have one item open on one side. You can have another item, gosh darn it, you can have another item open here on the side or the top or the bottom. And then you can bring out another app, which, come on, and you can pin it to the top or the bottom of this. So now you can have, you know, Three, tap, three, three pages open at once. So whatever you want to do. I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, that's kind of a cool feature. My main reason for buying this phone is because I do a lot of remote desktop administration for a bunch of different companies. And there's an app on here, which I use all the time, which is Microsoft's remote desktop client. So I can just click this bad boy. Well, on my other phones, like my Note 20 Ultra, my S21, um, the main reason why I got this one and the S the, or the uh, Z Fold 2 was on my other phones that don't have the tablet mode, um, trying to scroll around on a client's desktop remotely from a phone, yeah, it's, it's a pain in the butt. But on this guy, I can actually have their desktop window. Oh, sorry, I just realized that I'm actually doing a backup of my hypervisors. <laughs> so, yeah, can't connect. Anyway, but you can bring them up into the full screen and there's no need to, to scroll the screen sideways up and down to get to the entire desktop. Basically, the entire desktop is right there on your screen. Um, I'm not like a professional YouTube you know, reviewer guy. I just put stuff out there and if people like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. Um, so I'm not going to go back and redo this video. So, but anyway, um, that's pretty much my take on it. Um, the other thing that I really wish they would have just left in place for people that maybe hadn't purchased the Z Fold 2. Um, so somebody coming into the new foldable range, um, if you have attention deficit disorder, I'm going to try to get it to show up on the screen here, but other re reviewers have got it to show, show up on screen is the stupid under display fingerprint or camera sorry so when you actually have it when you hold it at a certain light you can actually see the under display camera there and then that little guy there which is some kind of sensor um, so when you have basically something that's like all white on the screen which I can't get my screen up far enough because of the bar but when you have something bright enough onto the, on the screen, it shows up in this weird, funky pattern. There we go. There it is. So, you, it's really hard to tell on video, but when you're actually looking at the screen, it's got like this weird screen door effect on it. And once you know it's, once you know that that's there, it's hard to stop looking at it. I'm constantly, when I'm using my phone, I see that thing and it just, it drives me nuts. I just wish they would have left the hole punch on there and not try to do the under display camera. Um, but yeah, I mean, take it what take it how it is. Um, the phone is a little bit lighter than the Z Fold 2. Um, 
side by side they are just a little bit thinner like each one of your your wedges on here on the side I mean they are a little bit thinner thinner so you got your speaker there you got your other speaker up top here for your dual speakers um, sound quality wise I think the sound quality is better than the Z Fold 2 but not worth going out and spending another $1,800 for another phone um, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this or not um, I've got uh, so basically what I did is is Samsung has the best trade-in programs out there so they gave me $800 for my Note 20 Ultra, which I'm actually using to record this with, and they gave me $500 for my Note 10 Plus. So the rest out of pocket was 500 bucks was what I was out of pocket paying. Um, and I've got 15 days to return those two de to devices to send those into uh, Samsung. Um, but in all honesty, I don't know. I, I think I'm just gonna keep my Z Fold 2 because the upgrades on this, they're just, they're not really worth it. Um, cameras, I can't tell any difference between the cameras, audio quality when I'm recording. Um, I do a lot of audio uh, reviews and sound quality wise, yeah, there's not really much difference between the two. And like I said, this, this color, it just, yeah, I mean, it, it looks more black than green. Um, so if anything, if I do decide to keep this, I'm going to send this one back and get the silver one. If you can even get them, because like right now the uh, the wait time is like seriously uh, into like the end of September now. Um, I pre-ordered this when the pre-order first hit, so I was able to get mine early. Um, but anyway, so that's just my take on the Z Fold 3. Um, do with that information what you will, but yeah, if you've got a Z Fold 2, I would just go ahead and keep it. If you're new to foldables... Um, Right now, there's really good deals on Z Fold 2s right now. I mean, you can pick up a, one that's in really good condition for $800 to $1,000. So, you know, save yourself $800 bucks and just go buy a Z Fold 2 and skip the Z Fold 3 because what they claim about this armor, whatever they said, the armor aluminum or whatever, it's it's still just aluminum. I mean, I don't see anything armor about it. Um, the, the better quality or more or the more durable screen I, I don't see that either i mean it looks like the same screen i mean this one your fingernail doesn't really dig that much into it like the other one but again it's i mean it's the same screen as far as i'm concerned only time will tell how the hold up will be but yeah i'm still beside myself if i'll keep it or return it but anyway i just wanted to let others know um you know so you don't go out and waste your money on one thinking you're gonna get something a whole lot better and even all the, the, the main YouTube reviewers are saying the same thing. They're basically, you know, keep your Z Fold 2. Because that's a lot of money for this. I um, mean, you're just wasting it if you already have a Z Fold 2. So anyway, that's it. Um, I'll be doing another video here soon of some Fluence signature speakers. Um, no one has ever done a teardown on them. Um, I personally believe all these positive reviews that we're seeing about them are all just shills that got a free set of speakers to do uh, YouTube if they did a review, review video on them or a review on some forum someplace because there is no way the Fluence Signature speaker is as good as they claim it is. It's built just, it's just garbage. You'll see in the teardown video when I do it, I took all the drivers out of it, um, you know, aluminum baskets instead of cast iron and whatnot, but that video will be coming next. So anyway, um, thanks for your time and I hope uh, this gave you some insight on the Z Fold 2. RZ Fold 3. Thanks.